How's it going everybody? In this video, we're going to continue our BGP process by taking a look at how to develop the policies that we're gonna roll out. The policies themselves are actually kind of interesting. They're not quite as uh, straightforward as they are in regular iOS, but they follow a similar f f logic. You have the match capability through either an access list or a prefix list. You have the ability of creating a route policy in the edge. Um, so if you're familiar with iOS XR, they also use a route policy. And then you take that, you call the pre ACL or the prefix list from the route policy, and then you apply that route policy to whatever it is that you're going to try to affect. So it's not terribly complicated, but it's still something that you definitely kind of have to get used to the flow logic for. So let's go ahead and take a look at exactly what we're going to go do. My goal here is um, if we look at the, the CLI real quick and we look at something like switch 16 and we do a, like a show IP route, what you're going to see in here is you'll notice that router one seems to be our egress point. And if we do a show IP BGP, we see a bunch of routes coming from both. But you'll see that like we have the, me the metric that's coming in, um, the local preference is pointing us towards router one and stuff like that. So we're focusing on router one because the local preference in this case here, uh, we have the routes were actually learned. If we look at the show IPBGP summary, um, the older neighbor is actually router one. That's why we're preferring that considering all the variables are pretty much the same. So the, if we look at something like this neighbor right here, we're learning it from both, but we're preferring router one because his, uh, let's see, this particular prefix right here, when we learn it from router, router one, that's weird, why are we learning it that way? Let's look at something like show IP BGP and we'll take a look at 10.3.130.0. So we look at this one here and the, since we have, it's kind of an interesting situation because the metric is so much higher than this. Well, the lower metric would be. Uh, so it's kind of interesting how this works because of the way that everything comes through. So normally you would use, local preference would be your preferred path. So you would take local prep via VEdge2, metric is higher, local preference is higher. I'm actually not really sure why it's preferring this one, because it should be preferring this one. Other than the fact that it's the older of the two neighbors, but that really only goes for um, eBGP, I think. It's been a little while. I'd have to go back and investigate. But what I want to do is I want you to see if you were to manipulate some values. So, for example, uh, right here, we're affecting, um, we're choosing to go via router one, other than that it's old, the older of the two neighbors. So, if we were to say clear IPBGP star and do this. Let's clear the neighbors, take down the adjacencies, so we're learning routes in both at the same time. Right, so we should learn traffic in from VH1 and VH2 at the same time. Okay, let's let it figure itself out. Okay, and so if we do a show IP BGP summary now, they both came in, router two, router one's technically a little bit older, but if we look at this, once it figures itself out, it's still choosing to go via router one with the higher local preference, the higher metric, internal route. It's just a little, it looks a little odd. But the, the point being here is, isn't so much to understand B, the BGP aspect of it, but the, the point that I wanna to try to make is that you can affect which way you send the traffic. So I should be able to, um, for pretty much anything, I should be able to go ahead and say, you know what, 
take the path via router one because it's going to have the lower administrative, uh, the low, the, the lower um, local preference. So we can do that. We're, that's actually what we're going to go do. Let me go ahead and get out of the way. Let's type in admin and uh, go to global config. And now in order to, to affect this, you have to actually go underneath the policy command. So policy, and underneath here you have a number of capabilities. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to create a prefix list or anything like that because I don't need to match anything because I want to basically say I want to forward traffic through router one out of the gate and use a, I want to affect, because if you look right here, or I'm sorry, on switch 16, if you look right here, you can see that the, the local preference for all routes from router one is coming in at 100. So I want to lower that to be, uh, actually, you know what, I see, oh, you know what, never mind. I completely had a brain fart, my, my bad. Higher local preference wins, okay? So I'm going to affect this to where the higher local preference, I completely forgot about that. For some, I don't, for some reason, I was thinking the, the lower profit, local preference, the higher local pre local preference would win. My, my apologies. So I'm going to make this to be, let's say a thousand. We'll do that. So what I'm gonna do is on VEDGE1, I'm gonna go ahead and type in route-policy, and I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna type in our, uh, the route policy for uh, BGP routes. And underneath here, I'm going to set the sequence, sequence value of one, and underneath here, I'm gonna actually scoot this up a little bit so we're not, I wish it wouldn't kick so much information out, but it's whatever. I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna match on any specific prefix, but I'm going to set the action underneath here is gonna be accept. And then underneath here, I'm going to set the local preference to be, let's say 1000. Okay, so if I do a show config, We created a, route, a policy called route policy RP BGP routes. Sequence one, action is to accept the routes. We're going to set local preference of 1000. The default action is reject. So literally every prefix that flows through uh, V edge one that goes and gets redistributed to BGP or any routes that get propagated to BGP will automatically, so routes are gonna get redistributed from OSPF into BGP, those routes are gonna get tagged when they get redistributed into BGP with a default uh, local preference of 1000 and get pushed to um, via switch 16 and then you'll see the the value of 1000 show up. So now what I have to do is I have to come out of here. I have to come out multiple levels deep. Now I'm underneath policy. Now I need to type in the command. I have to go underneath BGP. So it's going to be, let me exit out one more time. I'm going to type in uh, VPN1 router BGP, BGP65012 and then address family IPv4 unicast. And it's going to be neighbor. Actually, I knew that this is done underneath, done underneath the neighbor. So neighbor of 10.1.0.16. We're going to go ahead and uh, hit the enter key and then address family IPv4 unicast we're going to say route policy and we can just grab this policy right here and we're going to say outbound so any routes that are going towards that neighbor are going to get tagged with the local preference of 1000 i'm going to go ahead and commit that so what should happen is switch 16 should automatically receive those updates so we're going to give that a couple seconds to do its thing and then once it receives those updates we should be able to go in here on switch 16 and do a show IP BGP. And we should see 1000 being tagged. So we're forcing the traffic via one of the local preference of 1000 towards the edge one. Okay, so that's basically how you would affect it that way. Now, if I wanted to be more specific for a particular set of prefixes, I could do that as well. So I can mix and match it however I really want to. It's just basically how you would apply it. Now, that was all done locally on the V edge. The cool thing is, is I can take that same logic on the V manage and do the same thing, except for it's more steps and it's a little more complicated. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna affect it to where we're going to apply a policy on V edge two for all routes that are redistributed into BGP from OMP or OSPF or whatever 
Any redistributed routes into BGP will get tagged with a local preference of 2000 and be sent down towards switch 16. And so router two will be the default. So if we do a show IP route, we're gonna see everything go via 10102, not 10101. So let's go ahead and pull up the pull up VM manager real quick. We're gonna go ahead and log in. So admin and admin. Excellent. So now we're gonna to go to underneath here, we're gonna click on policies, and we need to go on to under custom options. I'm gonna come underneath here and create a route policy. That's a localized policy. So the route policy, I'm just gonna come in here, say create new. I'm gonna give it a name, I'm gonna call RP underscore BGP routes, something simple, right? Copy and paste that in. And then I'm gonna give it a sequence type and sequence rule. I'm not going to match on anything, but I um, the match is gonna basically just be everything, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the actions to accept, and then underneath the local preference, I'm gonna set that value, I'm gonna put 2000 in here, and that's it. The default action, I'm gonna go ahead and save match and actions. I'm gonna click the default action, it's gonna be reject. So let's just recap what we, what we did. We created a, a name and a description. I created a sequence type and then a sequence rule, right? Because right now it's raw policy, that's all we have. And then what I did is I said, match match anything. We don't care what it is. And then we're going to accept, in the actions, we're going to accept whatever routes are coming in. And by default, we're going to tag every route with a local preference of 2000. Simple as that. I'm going to, and then in the default action, we're going to reject anything else. I'm going to go ahead and save route policy. So now it's been saved, right? It's right there. Now, because of the fact it's been saved, I have to go now to the configuration of the device template, and now I have to tag route pol uh, RP BGP routes. I have to go to, if I was to go to like local policy and then add a policy, I can go through next, 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 next. And if I was to go back one to say, add a route policy and import existing, it's in here, click on import, right? And then I click on next and then on the policy name. So you create a route, you create a route policy with whatever configuration you need. Okay, that's gonna be your, that's basically gonna be the same thing as me doing this right here. Uh, let me go back to the edge one and let me jump out of global config and do a show run uh, policy. Okay, underneath here, I create the policy, right? And the policy says route policy, BGP route sequence one, I'm good to go there. So now what I get to go do on here is the policy name, you need to create a policy name, which is gonna basically be an overarching capability. And the policy name is called from, well, actually, no, let me do it this way. Let me go back to templates. Let me go and get out of the way real quick. Let me go to templates and then the, uh, the de dual site device template, edit this. And then I'm gonna come down to additional templates and we have the policy and see, so you see, it's nothing, nothing shows up, right? We have to create a policy and then call the BGP routes policy. We have to create that. Because I was like, I don't think you can just do it without it. So under policies, localize policies, add a policy. So I'm gonna go ahead and next, next, next to here, I'm going to, actually, let me back up one. I'm going to add route policy, import existing one. I'm gonna grab the route policy BGP routes, I'm gonna import it, and then I'm gonna say next, and I'm gonna give it a name. I'll type in policy is gonna be uh, BGP underscore routes. Copy and paste that down there. I'm not gonna do anything else with it, and I'm just gonna go ahead and save policy. Now the policy's been saved, right? Now I can go to templates, default uh, dual site device template, edit that, and then I can come down to additional templates and under policy, there it is, policy BGP routes. I'm gonna go ahead and click on update. And what's gonna end up happening is that policy is gonna get pushed down to the edge two. So we're gonna go ahead and click next. And then I'm gonna go to check the deployment option. And so I'm actually gonna keep this right here. And then we're gonna look at the config diff real quick because I'm curious to see what it's gonna look like too config diff, come down here a little bit, and we're gonna see that 
a policy. It's the same exact config, right? Um, we're pushing this policy down, right? And then we had to go underneath the BGP config in order to associate it. So basically this is what you're doing, right? So we're gonna go ahead and uh, configure devices. So it's gonna push that config down to VH2. And then we're going to go into the hurry up and wait state. I'm gonna go ahead and pause until it's there. Okay, it's now it's there. So we can go back to VH2 and type in admin, admin, and then show run policy. And we can see that the policy is there, right? And it matches VH1. I mean, it's the same thing except for um, a different value, right? So what I'm gonna do now is on vManage, I'm gonna go back to the templates. I'm gonna click on feature templates. And then I'm going to choose BGP for dual site VPN one, so which is this guy. I'm gonna go in here and edit it. And what I'm gonna do is underneath the neighbor config, I'm gonna go ahead and edit this. And then I'm going to, where it says the route policy part right here, I'm gonna come in here and say global, click on, and then the policy name is I'm gonna come in here and the policy name itself is this name right here. So I'm gonna just call RP BGP routes. I'm going to paste that right here globally and I'm going to say save changes and then update. And then we'll check the configuration. Once we go to click next, we'll do a config diff. Give that a couple seconds for it to do its push. So go to config diff, come down here, and under BGP, we'll see that route policy RP BGP routes is at outbound. So I'm gonna go ahead and configure devices. That's gonna push that config. We'll give that a few seconds to do its push. Okay, the config was pushed. So if we come in here and do a show run VPN one router BGP 65012, we can see that the BGP routes have been updated. If we go over here to switch 16, we can see a bunch of updates has happened. And guess what? All of our routes have now been updated, right? So we come in here and we do a show IP BGP summary. Um, actually, I meant to say this. We can see now that the routes are going via router two with a higher local preference. We do a show IP route and we can see our next top is now pointing towards VH2. So that is how you affect local preference in this particular case, so it's gonna be routes going outbound. So that just gets the routes to the V edge, right? Um, so internal routing properties and policies and so whatever, all that stuff still needs to be applied, right? And you can affect how the traffic gets to the particular V edge. So in this case here, V edge two was to die, V edge one would take over because there is a backup path and all that type of good stuff that goes along with it. But as you can see, not too terribly difficult to get up and running. So that's basically what I wanted to show you guys in this video. We're gonna go and start transitioning over into NAT and take a look at how that comes into play and then talk about propagating a default route over the OMP process so we can have a backup path via, we were talking about local internet breakout and all that good stuff that goes along with that. So until next time guys, thanks so much for stopping by and I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.